Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. I was pleasantly surprised that I liked this track, If I Were a Boy. I reacted to Angelina Jordan doing it, but I wanted to see Beyonce first because she did the song. Well, I was intrigued because I ended up liking it who wrote the song, and I found out that this lady here was a co-writer on the track, and she's the original singer. Her name is B.C. Jean. I'd never heard of her, and I haven't heard her sing her well, own song. So, now that we've done Beyonce, and now that we've done Angelina Jordan, and now that I know I like the track, why don't we hear how it's sung by the songwriter? Let's give us a go together, and let's see what we got. If I were a boy Even just for a day I'd roll out of bed in the morning Throw on what I wanted and go I drink beer with the guys And chase after girls I'd make out with who I wanted And never get busted for it Cause they'd stick up for me if I were a boy I think that I'd understand How it feels to love a girl I swear I'd be a better man I'd listen to all Just turn off my phone And tell her that it's broken So she thinks that I was sleeping alone I'd put myself first And make the rules as I go Cause I know that she'd be faithful Just waiting for me to come home I'm not waiting no more If I were a boy I think that I'd understand How it feels to love a girl I swear I'd be a better man Just a boy You don't understand How it feels to love a girl Someday you wish you were a better man
Until you lose the one you wanted Cause she's taking you for granted Now everything you had is destroyed But you're just a boy I'm honestly so surprised. So I love singer-songwriter stuff, and I usually, well, when there's a song I really love, I do what I just did here. I find out who wrote it, and I listen to the original version, and almost all the time, I think it's so much better than whoever popularized it. This is not the case. I wasn't all that impressed. I think Beyonce really, or her team, or whoever did it, really, really developed this track. And I wonder as successful as they were, who's the one who picked the song to cover, to sing, to perform? Uh, they were right on the money because she did such a fantastic job doing it, Beyonce. So uh, who was the one with the intuition? That's pretty That's pretty neat. And, and how did it come across their desk as well? Because I, uh, I read that she didn't put this on her album, uh, BC Jean. They didn't want it on there. But her performing it to me was mediocre honestly i didn't hear anything special i didn't think her voice was that special uh the gravelly's nice but angelina jordan's gravelly's so much better to me and so i'm a little bit surprised i'm a little stupid i i really expected this to be so much better so anyway there's three different versions here that you guys can check out and see which you like best and uh, feel free to put it in the comments, assuming you watched them all. <laughs> I'll probably put this together, though, so you guys can see them in order. It's kind of fun, I think, to do. So, yeah, i got to think on this one. I just really thought that would be bigger. And I am intrigued of, of how do people play songs, you know, with huge artists. I got lucky, <laughs> I think is how I did it. But how do these guys do it? I don't know. Guys, thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.